Welcome to our exploration of the top 15 most powerful aircraft carriers in the world. Today, we're going on a journey, studying these enormous vessels that combine advanced technology with unrivaled military power. These are not just ships, but floating fortresses that have transformed modern warfare. Throughout our voyage, we will dig into the astonishing details of these aircraft carriers, scrutinizing their vast sizes, swift speeds, and remarkable aircraft capacities. Expect an in-depth analysis that will leave you in awe of these naval giants. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on our gripping content that dodges into the world's most advanced technologies. Now, let's set sail on our voyage through the world's most potent aircraft carriers in the world. Number 15 on our list is the Juan Carlos I, a Spanish Navy aircraft carrier that serves as a versatile platform for amphibious operations. The Juan Carlos I has a length of 231 meters, 757 feet, and a top speed of 21 knots. It has a displacement of 26,000 tons, making it a formidable presence on the seas. This carrier can accommodate up to 30 aircraft, including helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, enabling it to support a wide range of operations, from disaster relief to combat missions. The Juan Carlos I, named after the former King of Spain, was commissioned in 2010 and has since played a crucial role in enhancing Spain's naval capabilities. Next up, at number 14, we have the Italian aircraft carrier Cavar. This impressive warship measures 244 meters, 800 feet, in length and can reach a top speed of 29 knots. With a displacement of 27,900 tons, the Cavour provides Italy with significant naval capabilities. It can carry up to 30 aircraft, including helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, allowing it to perform various missions, including air defense, maritime surveillance, and power projection. The Cavour, named after the Count of Cavour, an Italian statesman, was commissioned in 2008 and represents a milestone in Italy's naval modernization efforts. Moving on to number 13, we have Charles de Gaulle, R-91, the French Navy's flagship aircraft carrier. With a length of 261 meters, 856 feet, and a top speed of 27 knots, it combines speed and versatility. The Charles de Gaulle has a displacement of 42,500 tons and can carry around 40 aircraft. Its aircraft complement includes fighter jets, reconnaissance aircraft, and helicopters, enabling France to project power and protect its interests around the world. The carrier is named after Charles de Gaulle, the legendary French statesman and military leader. Commissioned in 2001, the Charles de Gaulle has been involved in numerous operations, including combat missions and humanitarian assistance. At number 12, we have the HMS Queen Elizabeth, the largest and most powerful warship ever built for the Royal Navy. This impressive carrier spans 280 meters, 918 feet in length, and can reach a top speed of 25 plus knots. With a capacity for approximately 72 aircraft, the HMS Queen Elizabeth has a displacement of 65,000 tons. Its flight deck and hangar can accommodate a mix of fighter jets, helicopters, and other support aircraft. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, named after Queen Elizabeth I and Queen Elizabeth II, represents the United Kingdom's commitment to maintaining a strong presence at sea and projecting power globally. The carrier is equipped with advanced radar and communication systems, allowing for seamless integration with Allied forces and enhancing its effectiveness in modern naval operations. Coming in at number 11, we have the INS Vikramaditya, an Indian Navy aircraft carrier. This impressive warship was formerly known as the Admiral Gorshkov and was later commissioned into the Indian Navy. With a length of 284 meters, 932 feet, and a top speed of 30 knots, the INS Vikramaditya is a vital asset for India's maritime security. It has a displacement of 45,400 tons, making it one of the largest carriers in the region. The INS Vikramaditya can carry around 30 aircraft, including fighter jets and helicopters, enabling it to project power and protect India's interests. The carrier features a ski jump ramp for aircraft takeoff, enhancing its operational capabilities. Now let's move on to number 10, the Lioning, China's first aircraft carrier. With a length of 304 meters, 997 feet, at a top speed of 32 knots, it has played a significant role in China's naval modernization efforts. The Liaoning has a displacement of 58,500 tons, making it a formidable asset. It can carry approximately 44 aircraft, including fighter jets, 
helicopters, and airborne early warning aircraft. The carrier is named after Liaoning Province, where it was refitted and commissioned in 2012. The Liaoning symbolizes China's commitment to expanding its naval capabilities and ensuring regional security. The carrier has undergone extensive modernization and upgrades since its commissioning, reflecting China's ambition to develop a technologically advanced navy. Number 9 on our list is the Admiral Kuznetsov, a Russian Navy aircraft carrier that has a significant impact on global naval operations. With a length of 305 meters 1, feet, and a top speed of 29 knots, it is a formidable presence at sea. The Admiral Kuznetsov has a displacement of 58,600 tons, making it one of the largest carriers in the world. It can carry approximately 41 aircraft, including fighter jets, helicopters, and airborne early warning aircraft. The carrier is named after Admiral Nikolay Tarasimovich Kuznetsov, a prominent figure in the Soviet Navy during World War II. The Admiral Kuznetsov represents Russia's commitment to maintaining a strong naval presence and projecting power on a global scale. Now, at number 8, we have the Shandong, the first domestically built aircraft carrier of the Chinese Navy. With a length of 315 meters, 1,033 feet, it represents China's growing naval capabilities. The Shandong can reach speeds of 31 knots and has a displacement of 55,000 tons. It carries around 44 aircraft, including fighter jets, helicopters, and early warning aircraft. The carrier is named after Shandong Province, a coastal region in eastern China. The Shandong, commissioned in 2019, is a testament to China's commitment to developing a blue water navy and protecting its maritime interests. Moving on to number 7, we have the U.S. John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, the second aircraft carrier of the Gerald R. Ford class. This state-of-the-art carrier has a length of 332 meters, 1,089 feet, and a top speed of 30-plus knots. With a capacity for over 75 aircraft, it represents the cutting-edge capabilities of the U.S. Navy. The U.S. John F. Kennedy has a displacement of 100,000-plus tons, making it one of the largest carriers in the world. Its flight deck and hangar can accommodate a diverse range of aircraft, including fighter jets, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles. The advanced technology and operational capabilities of the U.S. John F. Kennedy make it a formidable asset for the U.S. Navy. The carrier is named after President John F. Kennedy, a charismatic leader known for his strong support for the U.S. military and space exploration. At number 6, we have the U.S. Nimitz, the lead ship of the Nimitz class. This colossal aircraft carrier measures 332 meters, 1,089 feet, in length and can reach speeds exceeding 30-plus knots. With a capacity for approximately 90 aircraft, the U.S. Nimitz has a displacement of 100,000 tons, making it a true symbol of American naval power. Its flight deck is a hive of activity, with fighter jets, surveillance aircraft, and helicopters taking off and landing, showcasing the immense capabilities of this floating airfield. The carrier is equipped with advanced radar and communication systems, providing enhanced situational awareness and interoperability with Allied forces. The U.S. Nimitz, commissioned in 1975, has a storied history and has played a significant role in U.S. naval operations worldwide. Now, let's talk about number 5 on our list, the U.S. Dwight D. Eisenhower, another remarkable Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the U.S. Navy. With a length of 332 meters, 1,089 feet, and a top speed of 30-plus knots, it combines size, speed, and firepower. The U.S. Dwight D. Eisenhower has a displacement of 101,600 tons, making it one of the largest carriers in the world. Its flight deck and hangar can accommodate around 90 aircraft, ranging from fighter jets and early warning aircraft to helicopters. The carrier is named after President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who played a key role in shaping U.S. national security policy during the Cold War. The U.S. Dwight D. Eisenhower has been involved in various operations, showcasing the U.S. Navy's global reach and capability. Coming in at number 4, we have another pride of the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Ronald Reagan. This nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is a testament to American engineering and naval dominance. With a length of 332 meters 1089 feet, and a top speed of over 30 knots, it is capable of projecting power across the globe. The U.S. Ronald Reagan has a displacement of 103,000 tons, making it one of the largest and most formidable aircraft carriers in the world. 
Its flight deck can accommodate around 90 aircraft, including fighter jets, electronic warfare aircraft, and helicopters. The carrier is named after President Ronald Reagan, who played a significant role in revitalizing the U.S. Navy during the Cold War era. Now, the number three, we have the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier that has been an integral part of the U.S. Navy's fleet. With a length of 332 meters, 1,089 feet, and a top speed of 30 plus knots, it combines speed and firepower. The Theodore Roosevelt has a displacement of 104,600 tons, making it a floating city on the ocean. Its massive flight deck and hangar can accommodate around 90 aircraft, including fighter jets, early warning aircraft, and helicopters. The U.S. Theodore Roosevelt has a long-standing history of participation in numerous military operations and humanitarian missions worldwide. It is named after President Theodore Roosevelt, an influential figure in American history. Moving on to number two, we have the U.S. Abraham Lincoln, a gem of the United States Navy. Stretching to a considerable 333 meters, 1,092 feet. In length, this massive aircraft carrier stands out with a displacement of 97,000 tons. But the Lincoln isn't just about size. Beneath its extensive flight deck lies a spacious hangar, capable of accommodating an impressive fleet of around 90 aircraft. From nimble fighter jets to crucial surveillance planes and versatile helicopters, the U.S. Abraham Lincoln's air complement offers considerable operational flexibility, marking it as a significant force on the global stage. The Lincoln's nuclear-powered propulsion system affords it a top speed of 30 knots, showcasing its power and agility, a surprising characteristic given its imposing size. Named in honor of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, the carrier boasts a rich history since its commissioning in 1989. The U.S. Abraham Lincoln represents the perfect blend of size, power, and operational capability, affirming its number two ranking among the world's most powerful aircraft carriers. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the number one most powerful aircraft carrier in the world is the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, the lead ship of the Gerald R. Ford class. This colossal carrier spans 337 meters, 1,106 feet, in length, making it the largest aircraft carrier ever constructed. With a top speed of 30-plus knots and a displacement of over 100,000 tons, it embodies the cutting-edge technology and capabilities of the U.S. Navy's next-generation carriers. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford features an electromagnetic aircraft launch system EMALS, and advanced nuclear propulsion, offering increased efficiency and operational flexibility. Its massive flight deck and hangar can accommodate over 75 aircraft including the latest fighter jets, early warning aircraft, and helicopters. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford is a true game-changer in naval warfare, setting new standards for power projection and defense capabilities. The carrier is equipped with advanced sensors, self-defense systems, and networked warfare capabilities, ensuring its survivability and effectiveness in the modern battlefield. Let's take a moment to reflect on the stunning technological and engineering marvels we've examined today. The sheer scale, technological prowess, and awe-inspiring power of these vessels truly exemplify their unparalleled significance in modern warfare. We've traversed the globe, looking at carriers ranging from the Nimitz class of the United States to Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov and France's Charles de Gaulle. We've examined how each carrier combines sea power with air power and even land power capabilities, showcasing their respective nations' technological capabilities and military strength. We've seen the remarkable intricacies of these carriers, including their aircraft capabilities, propulsion systems, defensive measures, and the dedicated crews that keep these immense vessels operational. Each carrier holds a unique place in its nation's navy, representing the pinnacle of their naval engineering. These colossal vessels represent the pinnacle of maritime engineering, and their evolution over time is a testament to the leaps and bounds in technological advancements. From the mid-20th century conventionally powered carriers to the modern nuclear behemoths, these vessels continue to evolve, incorporating new technologies like electromagnetic aircraft launch systems and advanced stealth capabilities. However, it's essential to remember that the true power of these carriers lies in the dedicated men and women who operate and maintain them. Their tireless efforts ensure the smooth running of these floating fortresses and the protection of their nation's interests. These aircraft carriers represent more than just military might. They are symbols of national technological achievement and strategic capability. As global threats evolve, 
these floating fortresses will continue to adapt, ensuring their enduring role in global security. Thank you for joining us on this journey through some of the most impressive feats of naval engineering. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth examinations of our world's most incredible machines. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.